Hi, this is Coronado Beach. Welcome to San Diego. I'm Jay Doucette, Professor in Chief of the Division of Trauma, Surgical Care, Burns, and Acute Care Surgery. This video is intended to help you make a decision about whether San Diego and UC San Diego is the right place for you for a fellowship. We'll take a good look at our program and then take a tour of the facility. Let's go. Here are a few slides to help you decide whether or not UC San Diego is right for you. I'm going to use a top 10 list to help us work our way through the reasons why you might want to come here. Number one, the people. Our faculty are your mentors. And this is a great group of people. I think you're really going to like them. The faculty are committed to your success as a fellow, and they want you to see you launch on a successful career in surgical critical care, trauma, and acute care surgery. These are the folks who are going to get you through your one or two years at UC San Diego. Next up, outcomes. Our TQIP outcomes are excellent. Why would you want to train at a place that's mediocre? You want to go to a place that's going to show you how things are done correctly and has the robust QA processes to make sure that we're doing things right. In TQIP, we are a consistent high performer in overall mortality, healthy mortality, traumatic brain injury, multi-system blunt trauma, and shock. We're consistently in one of the top trauma centers in the country. This is the kind of place that you want to train at. We offer a broad clinical experience and we don't hold anything back. Right from the first year, you're going to be seeing trauma patients, EGS patients, surgical ICU patients, and acute care surgery patients. Our volumes are large. We have about 3,000 to 3,200 trauma patients a year, about 1,800 ICU admissions a year, about 650 EGS patients a year plus elective surgery, and about 400 burn admissions a year. You're going to see it all right from the beginning. We do our own vascular surgery. These were our fellows from a couple of years ago doing a popliteal. We do our own VATS, and we do advanced laparoscopic procedures. Our facility is unique. The trauma bay is not in the emergency department. It's in the surgical ICU. The resuscitation is led by the trauma fellow, helped by the trauma attending. ED residents are on our team and they stay with our team. The nurses in the trauma bay are actually surgical ICU nurses who actually volunteer to do trauma patients. And we have a team composed of surgical residents and medical students. We have a separate trauma operating room available to us 24 and 7 and it has direct to OR capability. We can take patients directly from the ambulance directly into the operating room for resuscitation or immediate surgery when required. We also have a separate 20 bed surgical ICU that's directed by a surgical intensivist, which is the right way to do a surgical critical care fellowship. We provide plenty of educational opportunities to our fellows during their fellowship. All of our fellows are expected to become ATLS instructors. They'll all take the disaster management course and have an opportunity to become an instructor as well. They'll take the ADAM course and have a chance to become an instructor. We'll also teach them ultrasound and give them an opportunity to become credentialed in ultrasound. We also teach the ACID course and there's instructor opportunities there as well. We also teach a simulation using human patient mannequins. We have a small simulation center in the trauma center and we have a very large one, probably the largest in the country in La Jolla. We also teach the best course as well. Located in La Jolla, the Center for Future of Surgery is our Department of Surgery's premier education destination. This is where we teach courses like Adam, Acid, and Best. It's equipped with 20 operating spaces, four Da Vinci robots, a complete hybrid operating room suite, and a microsurgery suite as well. This is a fantastic place to get courses and a great place to learn how to become a trauma surgeon and use techniques in laparotomies, thoracotomies, and in endovascular techniques. We have plenty of research opportunities for our fellows. Our division includes a basic science lab, one of the few in the country that produces groundbreaking basic science research in trauma and burns. We have one of the original trauma registries in the country that was used to form the National Trauma Data Bank and has over 30 years of data. We have clinical research ongoing involving clinical trials for new products and devices. We also conduct health services research using all the current state, federal, and other databases to provide 
new information about optimal care. There's plenty of support and weekly meetings for our fellows to help them advance their research career. One of the things our fellowship does is promote leadership in our fellows. Our fellows are fully involved in our business and quality meetings in our division and are encouraged to learn quickly how to become an associate trauma director, trauma director, associate ICU director or ICU director or program director. This is important because very soon you're going to be stepping into these roles. Working in San Diego means a chance to work in a model trauma system, which is how this system has been described. We have five adult trauma centers and one pediatric level one trauma center. It's a highly collaborative system and the reason it's been called a model trauma system is that all the trauma centers work together to create a common pre-hospital system and common pre-hospital protocols. We also do the same types of initial resuscitation and response. Most importantly, we share our M&Ms, that is, each of the trauma centers has to submit their deaths and complications to a trauma director in another trauma center, and these are reviewed across the entire county on a monthly basis. This isn't done almost anywhere else in the country, and it's a system you have to see if you want to see what accountability and quality looks like in a trauma system. Number nine are our second year options. The first year is a surgical critical care year. It's ACGME accredited and includes rotations in surgical ICU, trauma, cardiovascular ICU, burn ICU, as well as taking call, which will include emergency general surgery. In the second year, there are several options. These days, most candidates interested in the second year want to do the AAAST Acute Care Surgery Fellowship. This is a certification from the AAST and involves rotations in emergency general surgery, trauma, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, transplant surgery, and possibly electives, including international electives. Or, some of our fellows will enter practice directly after one year. The number 10 reason, our fellowship will get you the job that you want. If you look at where our graduates go, and they're listed on our website, you'll see that they go to prominent level one or level two trauma centers, places that they want to go and get great jobs. That, more than anything else, is indication of the quality of our program. And I hope you have a look at that to see where our fellows actually go. A bonus reason, number 11, is San Diego. San Diego is beautiful. It's a great place to live, it's great for families, there's lots of outdoor activities, and so on your time off, you won't be stuck with figuring out what you're going to do. There's lots to do in San Diego. Just a description of our campuses. Our new campus is at the Jacobs Medical Center. This is located in La Jolla, adjacent to the main university. This is a fairly new hospital, just opened four years ago. It's not a trauma center, but includes cardiovascular surgery, general surgery, surgical oncology, transplant surgery, some vascular surgery, the majority of obstetrics and gynecology. It's a beautiful facility at latest state of the art, but we only go there for subspecialties. It's not a trauma location, nor is it an EGS location. Our main location is located downtown at Hillcrest. This is an old county hospital, which was built in 1960, and we love it. It's a great place to do trauma and emergency general surgery. It's a place that we have our offices, and it's our, our base of operations day to day. What are the downsides to doing a fellowship at UC San Diego? Well, first off, our penetrating trauma rate is about 9 or 10%. We wish it were higher to help train fellows. This is a common complaint across many trauma centers, but we do see a fair bit of penetrating trauma regardless. It is expensive to live in San Diego. The salary is what it is. The cost of living is high to live by the beach. It's particularly high to live in California, and that's something you'll have to contend with. It is a growing program. However, I think that's actually become a good thing because we have lots of great faculty who have lots of different talents we're here to help you succeed. And San Diego can be beautiful, 
but this sometimes is a problem. For instance, in December and January, while you're enjoying life in shorts, your friends and relatives back home may decide that they don't want to shovel snow anymore and will come join you at your place in San Diego. Here's a look at our service schedule. Their time is split up between trauma, surgical ICU, and Jacobs Medical Center. There's four weeks of vacation given as one week blocks throughout the year. Here's a look at a typical call schedule. You'll see that our fellows do not take a lot of call. They're only taking about four calls per month. Fellows always take call with an attending. On the nights that there is no fellow in house and the attending is by themselves, we do have a fellow on backup in case there are multiple cases or particularly if there's an interesting case that we want the fellow to see. That way, no one misses out on an interesting case like vascular surgery or a thoracotomy. What are we looking for in a fellow? A good fit. Our fellows take a prominent location within the trauma system and interact with a lot of people that we rely on or who rely on us. They have to be a positive role model. They have to show leadership. They have to be an effective and patient teacher with residents and medical students. Most of all, they've got to care about what they're doing and have an interest in why we do things the way that we do. This is so that they can learn how our system works but also so they can understand how the system has to change and what areas we need to have improvement in, in the future. Right now it's a buyer's market for surgical critical care fellows. There are many programs looking to fill increasing numbers of slots and therefore it's a good time to go into the specialty. Last year about 50% of applicants got their first choice, 68% got their first or second choice, and 78% got their first, second, or third choice. 97% of applicants got matched and only eight applicants did not get a match. UC San Diego has a maximum of four slots. This year, we plan on filling two slots with two-year candidates, that is taking surgical critical care and the second year to finish the AAST ACS fellowship. We also have a third slot, which is for a candidate that wishes only to do the one year surgical critical care fellowship. The fourth slot we reserve for burn fellows who also wish to become qualified in surgical critical care. If you have questions, please write them down and save them for your interview day, or you can respond to the email that will send you with material for the program. Now let's take a tour of our facilities and have a look at UC San Diego. Hello. I'm Dr. Laura Godat, and I'm the program director for the Surgical, Surgical Care and Acute Care Surgery Fellowship. And I'm Dr. Jared Santorelli, I'm associate program director for the Surgical Critical Care and Acute Care Surgery Fellowship. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of our campuses. We're going to start here at Hillcrest. So we hope this serves as an adequate substitute for our in-person visit this year, and we look forward to showing you our campuses. This is our surgical ICU at Hillcrest. It is a 20-bed closed ICU and I am the SICU medical director. Typically, half the beds are filled with trauma patients. Another 25% will be other surgical patients. The SICU fellow and team act as primary team on all of those patients. The remaining beds are other critical care teams, such as neurocritical care and pulmonary critical care. Here we are in our trauma center. This is a four bed trauma bay, and it's probably unlike what you're used to seeing. It's not in the emergency department. Instead, it's embedded within the Hillcrest Surgical ICU. Our team, led by the trauma fellows, run about 3,000 resuscitations here every year. Each surgical critical care fellow will personally lead over 400 resuscitations. Our trauma nurses are also our surgical ICU nurses. They volunteer for extra training in order to work in here with us. All four bays are equipped the same way. Plus, we keep pediatric supplies, surgical trays, and Reboa kits here too. Having the bays in the surgical ICU means we have great continuity of care for our severely injured patients. When EMS tells us they have a very unstable patient, we can also do direct to OR resuscitation in OR 11. Not far from the trauma bay are the operating rooms, including OR 11. 
OR11 is dedicated 24 and seven to be an operating room resuscitation room. When we take patients from the ambulance directly into the OR, we can do resuscitations here or surgery. We have our anesthesia staff, trauma team nurses, as well as our surgical scrub team ready for patient care. This direct to OR capability is one of the reasons we have outstanding low mortality results year after year. Come on inside, let's take a look. So you can see over here on this side of the room, we have all of our equipment that we use standard for our trauma resuscitations. This is the side of the room where our nurses will be. On the other side of the room, you can see it just looks like any other operating room with all of our equipment ready to open up if we need to do a surgical procedure. And as always, our surgical table and anesthesia machines. This is Dr. Jeannie Lee. She's the director of our burn program and she's going to tell you about our burn unit. The Regional Burn Center for San Diego is at UCSD. We service both San Diego and Imperial counties. Our burn unit is eight beds and three of our faculty in our division are burn surgeons as well. So we do all of it. Uh, burn care, acute care surgery, surgical critical care, and trauma. Surgical critical care fellows will do a rotation with us about one to two months. Uh, and have, there is an option for a second year in burns if you are interested. The burn unit also cares for other disorders such as necrotizing fasciitis uh, and other skin disorders like S Steven Johnson syndrome. The AAST Certified Acute Care Surgery Fellowship is a two-year program. The first year is your surgical critical care year. In your second year, fellows with us here at UCSD will act as junior attendings on both our emergency general surgery service and the trauma service. Both of these services are run out of the Hillcrest campus and you'll be appointed faculty as a clinical instructor. With this appointment, you will admit EGS patients to your own service. We also have a general surgery clinic for our EGS patients to follow up in, as well as an opportunity to see new elective general surgery patients. So here as a fellow, you will have the opportunity to start building your own elective practice. First year surgical critical care fellows log on average 100 major trauma and EGS cases in the second year, fellows log over an additional 200 cases, including about 60 independent first surgeon cases. This includes the trauma service, where we usually do our own VATS and peripheral vascular trauma. La Jolla is the site of Jacobs Medical Center. It's not a trauma center, but it is a site of major surgery programs such as cardiothoracic surgery, transplant surgery, surgical oncology, and obstetrics and gynecology. At La Jolla, our first year surgical critical care fellows will rotate through the surgical ICU as well as the cardiovascular ICU. In the second year, our ICS fellows will do rotations on the thoracic surgery service, the vascular surgery service, and the transplant and hepatobiliary surgery services. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of our hospitals and fellowship programs. We hope you'll consider joining us. See you soon. Bye. Bye.